it's a sound that caused enough of an alarm for astronaut Butch Wilmore to call Houston with a problem. It was kind of like a pulsing noise, almost like a sonar ping. Boeing Starliner has seen delays, cost overruns, and helium leaks on its test flight to the International Space Station. And this latest sound had Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield concerned. He posted to social media saying, There are several noises I prefer not to hear inside of my spaceship, including this one that Starliner is now making. NASA says the sound came from an audio configuration between the space station and Starliner and has no technical impact to the crew, the ship, or any operations. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew-9 next February. Last week, NASA decided to end the crewed mission with Starliner, opting to bring Wilmore and his co-pilot Sonny Williams home on a SpaceX flight, meaning that Starliner's descent to Earth will be unmanned. Boeing has seen delays and cost overruns of more than $1.5 billion because of Starliner. It doesn't look good to Boeing that their astronauts can't come home on their spaceship. Uh, and that uh, is a bit of a black eye. Boeing has had a few of those this year. This just adds to their woes, which is what begs the question whether or not they'll stay the course. On Friday, Starliner will undock from the space station with a targeted landing back to Earth just after midnight Saturday morning. Kyle Benning, Global News.